If you want to configure Firebase in your Flutter application, first you have to create a Flutter project and then open the project in VS Code. Now head over to console.firebase.google.com and create a new project. Here enter your project name. Click on continue. Next you can click on continue and choose your Firebase account and click create project. Once it's finished you can click on continue and now here we have options for iOS, Android, Web, Unity and Flutter. In the past we used to configure separately for every platform that we were using but this new version of Firebase is supporting Flutter so we can directly configure Firebase with our Flutter application without any extra step. So here I'm gonna click on Flutter. So step one is to go to Firebase command line and then install Firebase in your system. You can either install Firebase CLI by using the setup that you can download from here or you can also do that using npm. For npm you also have to install npm first and then you can run this npm command and it will install all the Firebase tools required for your project. Once you have installed Firebase tools you can simply copy this Firebase login from here and go to your project open terminal. From here make sure it's command prompt and not powershell. In the command prompt you can simply paste the command Firebase Firebase login and press enter. Right now I'm already logged in so it shows my email address. After entering this command it will open your browser. You can log into your Firebase account and it will be logged in. After that you can come again to this website and Firebase projects list. This will list all the projects that you have in this Firebase account. So we have total three projects right now in this account and next command is to scroll all the way down and copy this Firebase in it. This will bring the Firebase.json and all the configurations for your Firebase project in your Flutter project. So we can simply paste this Firebase in it and press enter. It will ask you some questions. So here it says which service are you planning to use with your Flutter application. We can choose real-time database, Firestore, function, whatever we use. So I'm just configuring Firebase and I'm not implementing any functionality of these features. So right now I'm choosing Firebase, Firestore by pressing space and then press enter. And then use an existing project or create a new project. Since we have already created the Firebase project from the Firebase console here, we don't need to create a new project we can use an existing project now it shows all the projects that we have right now so this firebase demo is the one that we have created so i can press enter on that error says it looks like you haven't used cloud firestore in this project it happens when we first create our project we have to come to our firebase project just we have to close this come to build whatever feature we are using we have to go on it and here we have to create a database before we access it from the flutter project so i'm going to click on create project and you can choose your server location whichever is close to your location i'm gonna leave it as us now you can press next and here you can choose production or test mode right now we are in test mode it means we can access the database without any restriction for one month but if you are in production mode you have to write the rules manually here like for example you will only allow users which are logged in to the database using authentication methods otherwise you won't be able to access the firebase database i will create a separate video on this production rules so make sure you subscribe to the channel so you won't miss that video in the future and now we can select on test mode and click on create once it's finished we will have the database like this and uh, we don't need to create a collection for now we can go and continue with our configuration we can run the firebase init again choose firebase firestore and press enter use an existing project and from here firebase demo now it says what file should we use for firebase rules since we are in test mode and not in production mode and we have not written any rules so far this will create the firebase.rules for us that we can modify from here and then update it in the firebase directly so i'm gonna press enter it will create that file for us you can see we have firebase.rules here we can change it here and then update it will update the rules right in our database next is for firebase indexing how we are going to access our database i'm gonna press enter and it will create that file also if we check it here and now it's over we have all the files now next we can close this website and there's no other commands here except the firebase rules there are some extra information that you can read by yourself but you're not going to use it for now so i'm going to close it and here i'm going to go back to our flutter configuration i'm going to press on flutter this step that we have done now the next step is to install flutter sdk we have already have flutter sdk flutter is running for us next is to create a flutter project we have done that you can click on next now i can simply copy this command in the command prompt 
Once it's finished, I can copy this command which will configure our current project in the Flutter project. You will see that we will have Firebase options here and also in the Android folder, we will have google.services.json which we used to add that manually before. Just by pasting this command, it will add everything for us automatically. So here we can choose which platforms do we target. Right now, all of them are selected. I will keep as all of them and press enter. And now it's asking for our package name. We can find our package name inside android app and then build.gradle from here we can copy our package name whatever it is and paste it here and press enter all right it's finished and it has configured for android ios mac os web and windows for all the platforms automatically and we don't have to do it manually we can see our application ids here and it has also created as the firebase underscore option dot dart and there is an error here firebase core firebase core is required no matter which package do you use you have to include firebase core in your package whenever you want to use firebase in your project so i'm gonna just do a quick search for firebase core i can copy this package go to my pubspeak yaml and paste it here save now the error is gone as you can see here we're gonna close this and if we go back to our firebase console and click on next and we have to copy this line in our main method whenever we want to use firebase in our flutter project this simply initializes firebase before we access any functionality from firebase so we can copy this i'll go to our main method right here we have to paste it before doing run up it's important and we also have to make this a sync and import the required package and with that we're done with firebase configuration if you face any problem with configuring firebase or any other problem in flutter comment down and i will try to make another video on that so thank you for watching and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video